everybody. Back here this morning. Ground must have soaked her up good. It's nice and dry out. Let me get this tillage done on this farm and go from there. down a gear so we'd be about the same speed but I can't quite pull 11th gear going up the hill well I can tell you what 1220 made pretty light work of that with two rigs it's kind of crazy you don't realize how much bigger 60 feet is than 40 feet until you see it on the drone there wow is that thing wide and does that thing cover some ground that was pretty sweet we'll have a little interesting uh, test for this farm this year basically the left probably 66 percent of it was field cultivated and the right 30 percent of it was bt we will see what's nicer to plant into and this fall we will see if there's any yield difference between the two areas it'll be kind of hard to tell but you might have a rough idea say oh 
my monitor jumped up over here versus over here and it could just be spots of the farm but we'll see what happens I'm trying to think how many years we've had this vt now like four five maybe that's how many years it takes for the flashers to stop working because i i i guess i didn't even notice that they worked at the beginning of the year but the outside two aren't working and then this middle one is just kind of all flutter flickering so four years maybe five is what you get out of the flashers and you either got well i mean it's not the tractors they're working good up there so must have a wire or maybe this the flashers are junk went over to check on dijon mustard <coughs> plant some seed corn it's like they're cleaning the windows Looks like we got a uh, eyes in the sky. You can tell he's got the rows jacked up. He's only planting the four females right now. If you look, we got a gap here. We'll come back in a few days with the spike bar. Plant those male rows. We got to do two delays on this farm. So I'll have to come in once and then I'll have to wait another three or four days, maybe five, and plant over my same path again. It's kind of goofy how it works, but it works. Got a little Sunday fun day action going on here. Planting our second to last field of seed corn. This is the same variety I've been planting the past couple days. It's calling it one big block here. Got a couple neighboring fields. So today I'm putting all the female in. Then we gotta come back and put two male delays in. We're trying to get this knocked out today. Nice Sunday. Now we always don't want like to work on Sundays, but sometimes you do what you gotta do. Shout out to Bucky and DJ getting me some lunch from Casey's. Coming in clutch on this Sunday afternoon at three o'clock. Thanks, bro. Took a little bit to get going this morning. Had to clean out my water tank. Had some junk in the bottom, so I got all that rinsed out. Put some fresh water in there. Had to add some chemical. Got it all primed up. It seems like it's been working good here the past hour or two. So hopefully that works the rest of the day. And we should be done using this insecticide stuff for the season. So this field that I'm in is about 170 total acres. The female acres are gonna be a little less than that, obviously, because you got a gap every four rows. Not sure exactly how it's gonna come out. Right now, I got about 50 female acres done. And I'm guessing I got uh, anywhere from 80 to 100 left. Take another three, four hours. We'll see how it goes here and just keep the hammer down. Hey, everybody. How you doing today? Just got done planting about 60 acres. Custom work on a farm for a friend of ours that just bought his first farm. And we just planted his first crop of beans. Also planted Bex. First time doing that too. So today is a first of first. Glad to do it for him. See how they turn out this fall. Later. Do you know the Muffin Man? Thanks for the food, Mom. Female seed here is done. Time to pack her up, clean her out for one last seed corn field of the year. All the female in this area is done. Well, Bucky and I just been out here working some more ground. It's currently 1040. We took this rig over to 150 acre farm. I knocked that out in about three hours. Bucky was over in this 200 acre farm working. And when I got done, I came over here and we're just getting her finished up. Quad just ripping her. Nine mile an hour, working against the fence.
fence. I gotta pay attention here. Got a little uh, headland. There you go. Rip through it. Right there. Perfect. Another 200 down. We've only got one more farm that needs worked. 140 acres. There's 500 acres ahead of us to be planted, so we'll knock it out probably tomorrow evening. No big rush there.